by Antoinette Portis. Hey, water, I know you. You're all around. Faucet. Sprinkler, shower. You spray up and down. Hose, you trickle. And gurgle, stream. And rush towards the sea, river. You cover most of the earth, salty, surging, and mysterious. Ocean. Sometimes you lie quiet and calm. Lake. So we can splash and play and yell in you. Pool. I stomp in you and scatter droplets everywhere. Puddle. In the morning, you wink at me from blades of grass. Dewdrop. Sometimes you slide down my cheek without a sound. Tear. Sometimes you roar and pour. Rain. Water, even when you try to fool me, I know you. You blast and huff, you whistle and puff. Stream, steam. You hide in the air and drift. Cloud. You drift in the air and hide the world. Fog. Sometimes you freeze as hard as a rock. Ice cube. A rock that floats. Iceberg. Or a rock we can skate on. Brink. Sometimes you freeze soft as a feather. Snow. And fancier than lace. But water, I know it's you. Snowflakes. You're hiding in this funny guy, snowman. And you're hiding in me too, Zoe. Water, you're a part of every little thing. Bird, bug, puppy, plant, fish, mushroom. When I'm thirsty, there you are. Glass. Bathtub. Hey, water. Thank you. Water forms. Liquid. We know water as a liquid, flowing from faucets to fill a glass, rushing by in rivers on their way to the sea, and providing a home for millions of creatures and plants. But water is not just amazing because it's necessary for life on Earth. Water can take many forms beyond the liquid we drink every day. Like clouds and fog don't look like liquids, but they are made of tiny droplets of water, so tiny they can float in the air. When the drops clump together and get too heavy to float, they fall from clouds as rain. Solid. When water is cool way down to 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius, it freezes into a solid. Solid water appears as tiny crystalline snowflakes, ice cubes clinking in your glass, or icebergs the size of city blocks floating in the seas of Antarctica. Water in its solid state can even fall from the sky in the form of hail as big as tennis balls and dent the roof of cars. Gas. When water is heated, it turns into a gas called water vapor. In this form, water is invisible. Water vapor is in the air and all around us, but we can't see it. We think of steam as vapor, but actually it's not. Steam is a mist made of tiny droplets of hot water suspended in the air. That's what we see shooting out of the spout of a kettle or hovering over a bowl of soup. Water turns into vapor at room temperature, too. Though this happens so slowly, we can't see it. This is how rain puddles on the sidewalk gradually disappear. The sun's warmth evaporates the liquid into gas. This is the water cycle. Condensation. Cold air causes water vapor to turn back into liquid droplets. 
Precipitation, water falls to the ground as liquid or solid. Collection, water runs downhill and collects in rivers and lakes as well as seeps down into the ground. Evaporation, the sun's heat turns liquid into vapor that rises into the air. This cycle has repeated over and over again for millions of years. The end. Thank you.